flip is poppin' tube nation. How are we? Was all of that actually necessary? Me too. I don't know what's going on, but the last video that I filmed, I bled. Me cutting my finger with the razor like a dumbass. And then today, trigger warning, uh, lip skin. But <laughs> I had a piece of lip skin and I thought it was just like an innocent, you know, little whatever flap. And I pulled it and do you see the bump on my lip? So she's damaged. That's just been my filming experience for the last few times. So hopefully that stops. Um, first things first, are we kidding? Secondly, I just wanted to thank everyone for being so nice to me my last video. Your guys' responses were exactly what I was hoping for and that comment section was so healing and just so comforting. This video is kind of a continuation of that sort of so basically i was scrolling through instagram a really funny comedian slash musician i'm not sure what he is stop fucking worrying your life is good life is good baby yo it's good I said it's he posted tour dates for like a drive-in tour and i was like oh my god i want to go i was thinking about who i would go with not gonna name names but i think y'all probably know just because that person loves him too and I'm like, well, that's not an option anymore, so I can't go. And then I sat there for a second and I was like, no, 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 no. You can go. Who am I gonna invite? None of my friends would appreciate it. Like this person who would have gone with me because we were like obsessed with him, you know what I'm saying? And I was like, what if I just went by myself? And I was like, I'll throw up at the thought. And then I was really sitting on that and I was like, why not? It's a drive-in. It's kind of like, you know, those drive-in movies. So I was looking at his tour dates and I was like, I'll just buy a ticket for one. Take myself out on a little date. Date night. And I was like, okay, LA, LA, all San Fran. So I'm like, oh, that sucks. Too bad. And it's kind of like a cop out. I was like, mm, damn it. But then I was like, no. Why not just like go on a little road trip? Who cares? San Fran is like five hours away, five and a half, almost six. And I was like, I can do that. It was so impulsive. I bought the tickets the day before Halloween and the show was a day after Halloween. So I'm like, fuck it. I was thinking about renting. I was thinking about renting a convertible. I was literally on the app going through the convertible. And I was like, no, <laughs> that's, that's too much too far and also i wanted to kind of be in the safe zone of an enclosed car at this show so no one had direct access to me being alone in my car so yeah this entire video is a roller coaster of emotions it's literally a journey lots of things came up and i tried to get all of that on camera just so you guys can see the healing process up close Ooh. I hope you guys enjoy it. Love ya. Sorry to interrupt, but really quick, I have new merch and it's super cute. I really love it. So the link is in the description and get it because it rocks. All right, <laughs> let's get into the video. So here's me on the brink of death, reevaluating all of my choices from last night and just extremely hungover and then realizing that I have to drive five and a half hours right now. But then I lay back down because I'm like, shit, I really have to get up and drive right now. At this point, my anxiety is telling me to just lay my little head back down and that it's okay if I miss it. And then I clap the fuck back at my anxiety and say, no, I'm getting up. And also there's no refund policy, so I have to do this. I force on my big girl panties and I throw back some Advil and some water, praying to God that I don't yak on the side of the freeway. I try to slap the hangover away. Doesn't really work, but I'm thinking it will. Now here I am being like, shit, what do I pack? I'm going on a little road trip, so I get my suitcase, just to then realizing I'm staying for one night. So I don't really need to bring anything. What am I thinking? Eventually I make it to the bathroom, hallelujah. I struggle to turn on the light. I don't know why it was so difficult. And then I make my way to the mirror, which was a little discouraging. Slap myself a few more times and look myself in the eyes.
You're going to this show, I say, and you're gonna have a great time, so snap out of it and wash your damn face. So I'm pretty lazy and I don't feel like using my hands, quite honestly. Um, so Vanity Planet's cleansing brush kit always comes in clutch. I really love this. I've been using their products since like 2016. There's a brush to scrub your body. There's an exfoliation brush and there's a daily cleansing brush. And I went ahead and used that. The daily cleansing brush just gets the job done, okay? It's my go-to. I use it every single morning. And she just feels really nice on my face. It's like a light little massage. It's really relaxing. But it's also really nice knowing that it's getting all up in those pores. Especially if you wore makeup the night before, it just clears all that out and then also hydrates your skin and so you're feeling good. And here's me getting way too carried away because it feels so good and realizing, oh, I gotta leave right now. But I guess I don't seem to care. <laughs> I continue using it. And don't you fret, you guys. I hooked it up for ya. All right, if you want 70% off of your own kit, all you gotta do is click that link in the description, use SB Wash at checkout, and you get 70% off, y'all. You're welcome. Now that my skin is feeling fresher than ever, I congratulate myself for even washing my face in the first place, and then I start brushing my teeth. I throw a shot back of mouthwash and then get triggered because I'm thinking about alcohol and taking shots last night, and I kind of want to barf, but I don't let it happen. I am stronger than that, and frankly, I have no time to even barf because if I leave right now, then I can make it on time. Uh, so I uh, try to leave right now. <laughs> hey, it's 5.20 and I still have two hours and 50 minutes left of driving until I get there. For now, I'm just gonna listen to some podcasts and dance to some tunes. And I'm really excited about this show. I'm really pushing myself to do this alone. With this breakup, I'm like so weird about that shit now. And I think like when I would go to the movies alone and like do things on my own in the past, it was easier because I was in a relationship. Like I was like, well, I do have a boyfriend still, so I'm choosing to do this, you know? But now I'm like, I know it's gonna bring out some like weird insecurities and I'm kind of ready for it. Everyone is going to be in cars with their friends in their costumes. I feel like I'm about to like do a psychedelic drug. I'm like ready for a bunch of shit to surface. <laughs> and that's why I'm filming it. <laughs> Cause I want you guys to just like see it. If someone looked over at me and saw that I was alone and just vibing, some people would probably be like, oh, she doesn't have friends. friends. That sucks. see me vibing alone and be like, oh, that's cool. Because who cares? No one. No one's gonna be hyper fixated on me sitting in my car alone. You know what I mean? Unless you're a psychopath or a stalker. And I hope that that doesn't happen, but that's not gonna happen. Anyway, the sun is going down. It's only 5.25. Anyway, now I'm starting to like get in my feels. Like get emotional. It's always when the sun goes down, man. But also I'm kind of stressing on time because the show starts at 8 and it says that I'm going to get there at 8.10 and the doors are going to be closed at 8.30, like no one can get in after 8.30. But I'm not going to let that like freak me out because I'm going to get there on time. I just can't stop to pee or do anything else. Now that the sun's going down, it's like, ugh, I wish that I had, you know, someone. But it's like, no! I have my soul! And that's okay! Okay, bye! So the address that they gave me on the ticket led me all the way to the airport, which is not where the concert was at. So I was really stressed because I only had 10 minutes to get to the venue before the doors closed. I don't know my way around San Fran. I've never been here before. So my smart little ass figured out exactly where it was and I typed in the name of the stadium in my maps instead of the address. I ended up getting there right at 8 29. You guys, that was the most stressful journey of my life getting here. Oh my god, I almost had like five panic attacks just now. Wait, hang on one sec. 
Hello. Section A. Follow this way. Oh, shit. Oh, he's already on stage. Fuck. What section are you? A? No, yeah. you're, yeah. Where do I go? Hold on one sec. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You got it? Good. Thank you. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yep. And then you're gonna, you're not gonna go all the way, but I'll leave. Okay. Awesome, perfect, right there. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so I'm here. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Oh, oh, no. This is so embarrassing. Well, you're feeling yourself. No, no. When you're feeling on yourself, when you're feeling on your body, baby, when you're feeling on yourself, when you got that shit in your head, baby, when you're feeling on yourself. How are you all doing to this this lovely evening? Woo! <laughs> yes. Oh, the world is ending. A bunch of shit going down, baby. Woo! People are dying Oh, I feel like we're gonna drown But baby, you just had a look At your hot ass self <laughs> Yeah And then you'll realize That we're chilling <laughs> Yeah, yo, everything is fucked but I'm chilling. <laughs> hey, the world's going to shit. <laughs> but I'm chilling. I like that. Smoke, ash, dirt, destruction, chaos, death, racism, fighting, <laughs> presidents, politics, and hate, 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 but I'm chilling, chilling in the back, chilling in the back, god damn it, with my motherfucking crack, chilling in the back, chilling in the back, chilling in the back, with my butt crack, baby, smoking on a fat blood, baby, watch the world's pass, watch the world pass, eat a little ass. It's all gonna be alright, I know it's not, it's just words, honestly, because some shit really sucks for people right now, I understand that, I know that. A little more love, a little more kindness, a little more sex, <laughs> then we'll be chilling, chilling, chilling all together, we'll be chilling, chilling, chilling all together, gonna be chilling. Chillin' all together, I can promise you that, and I can promise you that we're gonna. I'm gonna chill 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 Thank you. Yes! Woo! <laughs> you to do right now baby take it all oh take off the clothes on your back you feel a little better oh take it off take it off bitch take the clothes baby take the buttons on the clothes undo the buttons on the buttonhole take it off take the little pants on your body on the bottom of your body take the zipper on the pants slide it down Take the button on the top, put a zipper to the button, then put it through the hole, unbutton. Now you take the pants, put the pants on the floor. Now you take the panties, baby, give them right here. Now you take your dick, then you take it out the box. Now you take your nipple and you put it over here. Oh my god. Take it off, bitch. Yeah. Take it off. Take it off. Yes! Need to see you take it off. Ah! Need to see you take it off. Ah! Need to see you work.
work it, baby, on a quick time. <laughs> <Need to> die. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Mark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twitter, you little piece of shit! Yeah! Fuck Donald Trump! Yep! Yeah. Fuck Donald Trump! Fuck Donald Trump! Get out, Donald! Get out, Donald! Get out, Donald! You're not wanted in the Oval Office! Get the fuck out! You little motherfucker! Yo, you need to get your ass out! I hope you treat each other with love and kindness. Be good to each other. Be kind to each other. Be patient. Be understanding. And for the love of Christ, if you haven't voted, get your fucking ass out there tomorrow and do it. Period. I love you so very much. Love you too. And keep pooping on it. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Mwah! Keep pooping on it. Keep pooping.
I'm gonna beat your ass to the ground, to the ground with no one around. Cause I'll beat that ass, I'll beat that ass, yeah, yeah. I'll beat that ass after the show, yeah. And here is the beautiful hotel we're staying at, baby. Keep forgetting that I'm literally in San Francisco right now. <laughs> Like, I actually just drove five and a half hours to see Mark sing, sit that ass on this face, bitch. And you know what? It was so worth it. <laughs> Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Okay, we made it. We did it. I can't believe I really did that. Like, I really did that. Whoop, whoop. I have to tell you guys what just happened. That was crazy. Like, actually. Oh, very weird vibes in here. <laughs> I have a city view. Cute. Okay. It looks a lot less scary. But when I first walked in, I was like, there's someone in the bathtub. Is there someone in the closet? I do this every time. What? Did you see that? Oh my God, I want McDonald's so bad. When I walked up to the building, I had to stop recording. I saw this like big bus in front of the entrance. It looked like a party bus slash tour bus. So I was like, someone famous is here this hotel is like two minutes away from that venue so i was like oh my god is that mark and i saw a bunch of people outside of the bus with black suits on are those security guards i was like who's here i was like is it mark holy shit if me and mark were just in the same hotel room what the fuck and then i saw this one person with brown long hair in a red suit and i was like oh my god that's mark they're all like walking in and I walk into the lobby. They were flight attendants. That person that I thought was Mark was an older lady with like short brown hair. Like that was not Mark. They just had the same hair, but I'm like, oh my God. And he, she was the only one in a red suit. I'm like, what does that mean? Does that mean she's the pilot? And then I was like, why the fuck are flight attendants in this party bus? Like, that's kind of lit. Were they just like getting crunk after they landed a plane? Is this what flight attendants do? They just land into a new city and then they get fucking wild. They order a party bus and like go around the city and like tour it. But the lights inside were changing colors and that's what was tripping me out. I just want to think that they were all super drunk. Then I was standing in line like giggling to myself about this and I was right in front of the automatic doors that open up and I'm wearing like this huge triple XL sweatshirt with no pants I'm only wearing underwear and I was just standing there last in line and the door opens up and the back of my sweatshirt the back of my sweatshirt like lifts up in my whole ass my whole ass was just exposed to this random man and I like immediately like pushed it down but it definitely flew up and he definitely saw that and I had to stand there pretending like he didn't just see both of my ass cheeks he was probably like what the fuck <laughs> or he probably felt bad and probably wanted to be like you I'm sorry I wasn't looking that was horrible I felt my whole face get hot. I had to wait there for like five minutes because there were so many flight attendants in front of me checking in. Ugh. Anyway, I'm here. There were a few moments during the show where I would like realize that I was completely alone at the show. My heart would kind of sink and I would get sad. And then I would like try to pull myself back out. People would like look over at me cause I was like being pretty loud. <laughs> I had both the windows down and I was like yelling along. There were cars next to me, obviously to drive in. And 
I kind of noticed them kind of glancing over and I felt like they were trying to figure out if anyone else was in the car. <laughs> Because I was sitting on the passenger side because it was easier to see the screen. So I feel like people were like, where's the person driving? Then they were like looking in the back seat. Whenever that would happen, I would be like, oh my God, embarrassing. Then I'd be like, nope, we're vibing. I didn't really care about that so much because like no one knows me, who cares? But I think the main thing that kept coming up for me is just trying to feel okay being alone. Feeling like that was enough. You know what I'm saying? Like I kept having moments where my mind would kind of trail off and think of like, oh, what if this person or this person or this person were here with me? How would have that been different? And I kept being like, it wouldn't be. I would still be doing this. They would just be here too. I feel like that was really challenging my anxiety to really change my thought patterns, you know? Cause I kept recognizing when my thoughts would get dark and sad where my heart would kind of like sink down. And then I would notice that and then flip it. That was seriously like mental gymnastics or like emotion gymnastics. But mainly I had a great time. I fucking love Mark. He's so funny. I just discovered him a few months ago. I was starting to get really bad anxiety though because my friend texted the group chat that I'm in saying something like, I'm like getting really nervous about the election. And then that like brought me back to, oh fuck. America's about to go insane after the third, which is in like two days. It's the first right now. I also wanted to come to this show tonight to like get my mind off of that. The fuck Donald Trump song, I went ham, bro. All my anxiety went away. It felt like I was on a Xanax. Like I literally was just like, what's anxiety? And I'm so glad that I went and I'm so glad I was able to get in because I wasn't sure for a second. But now that I'm like back in my hotel room, I'm like, I'm gonna see if Postmates is a thing. And if not, then I'm gonna just go get something. But yeah, that was a great show. I fucking love Mark. You guys should follow him. He's such a ray of sunshine. I'm gonna figure out what to do now. Okay, I just got done crying. You know how it is. But my Postmates just dropped off Taco Bell, so hopefully I feel better. I need to embrace being alone, and I need to feel all these uncomfortable feelings. And I need to get through all of these weird urges that I have to do something right now, like call someone or text someone. <laughs> Cry again. I was cool at the show because there was a distraction, but I get so much anxiety at night about like so many things about the fucking election, about the breakup. This, I just feel so uncomfortable. Like, I have like nowhere to like escape. I'm like trying to watch Netflix. I just, yeah. I just can't stop thinking. Remember what I said at the beginning? Like, I feel like I'm about to do psychedelics because <laughs> so much shit's gonna float up. It's happening right now. I'm just like in San Francisco. What? I just hate the nighttime. I hate the nighttime. I like almost want to get in the car and drive home. That's five hours. And I, I can't do that. I just wanted to show y'all that like, it's just such a fucking constant. <laughs> oh. I might call my mom or my sister or my dad. I just feel trapped. Trying to like ground myself. This usually helps. I'll take a deep breaths. I'm feeling like really weird FOMO from people's Instagram pictures, even though I know that like I didn't want to go to a party anyway to like be safe and to keep others safe. I have to like remind myself that not everyone on Instagram is 100% happy all the time, you know? This is gonna pass. <laughs> Time is gonna heal, and what I do in that time 
just gonna heal. I'm literally getting mad at myself that I didn't bring a book. Like, what the fuck? Why don't I bring a book? I have so many too. <laughs> sideburns are popping it's so weird i feel a lot better today but i'm like not at the same time because election day is tomorrow and i'm terrified but i'm like weirdly calm but now that i'm thinking about it what if trump wins no i'm not gonna think about it um i'm gonna get up i'm gonna take a shower i'm surprised they haven't kicked me out yet like noon. I think I'm just gonna go to San Fran and like see the Golden Gate Bridge. I've never been to San Fran and I've always wanted to. I want to see if I can find the Full House house. Is that such a tourist thing to say? I don't give a fuck. Where's Danny Tanner at? I'm excited. I just noticed that my nose ring is not in my nose. Where is my nose ring? Did I have it last night? I'm so confused. I just looked at old footage from last night. My nose ring is not even in my nose the entire time. How the f- where? That's annoying. Spongebob these days? I feel like I'm on crack. Spongebob is so chaotic. The newer episodes, I feel like I'm on acid. And not in a good way. I made coffee. There's a little Keurig in here. Oh my god, he's like jacking off his nose. Squidward. To make ink. Oh. The writers really did that. Why do I literally look like I'm in the 80s with this hair? I hate this hair. It looks like an actual mullet. I look like Uncle Jesse. You know, like that feather. Is this 80s or 70s? <gasps> oh, can you literally see me in like a black leather jacket going like this outside of a bar before I talk to the girl that I like? I'm gonna need my hair to grow right now. Please. San Francisco is so fucking cute. This is the cutest little city. I guess big city. All the little colorful townhouses just line up. And I can already see the bridge, it's like over the trees. I cannot believe that I've never been here before. I ended up leaving the hotel around 2.45 and right now it's 3.24. So the sun is already kind of setting, which is upsetting. You know, at least the sun's out and I can see it during the day. So I have to start driving back to LA soon. Should I drive across the bridge? I have to, I have to do that.
whatever happened to Vincent and Z, the milkman, the paper boy, Ren and TV, nothing no familiar friends, waiting just around the bend. Everywhere you look, everywhere is a heart, is a heart. I hear they all come to. Everywhere you look, everywhere is a place. Somebody who needs you. Now there you all alone. Mine is waiting to carry you home. Everywhere you look. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, it's so fucking pretty! I want to turn around and go back. Can I go back? <laughs> Is that what people do when they visit? They just go back and forth. Where am I? Oh. This is so pretty. Oh, everyone with their friends and family. Couldn't be me. Good for you guys. Should I just like take like a self-care selfie? It's so dumb. Should but do you guys know what I'm saying? Just a picture of me in front of the bridge. I'll do that. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I'm here. Why not? Jump in that ocean. I'm gonna jump on in, but I'm not gonna do that because that's not safe. I watched the documentaries. That was cute. That was fun. And at first, I was like, "Oh my god, I'm like alone and everyone's with their families." But it's like no one gives a fuck about me. No one is looking at me. Everyone's looking at the bridge, bitch. Yes, obviously the thoughts are crossing my mind right now like it would be nice you know to have someone with me to look at it with but it's like i'm looking at it with myself and with you guys and that's enough you know the social experiment continues I know it's called the Golden Gate Bridge. It's not even golden. Why is it called the Golden Gate Bridge when it's red? Like a deep burgundy. Should I listen to Golden? Why didn't I do that earlier? Now I have to go back and listen to Golden. I have to. That's genius. Francisco, what? I want to try to find the Full House house. <gasps> Found it. I'm going to like literally cry. Let's fucking go! Yeah, I'm trying to meet your mama on Sunday. Or something. Like I feel like I'm 
in a different country. Am I in Europe? <gasps> okay, it's gonna be on the right in 500 feet. Oh my God, oh my God. Why do I have butterflies? This is like my favorite show growing up, you guys. I'm watching Danny Tanner try his best to be a dad of three little girls. This is so exciting. <gasps> Whatever happened to the milkman, the paper boy, the TV? Yes! Oh my god, Danny Tanner. That was it. That was it. That was so cool! So Sorry! God. Sorry I'm appreciating art. Bro, I was... I literally pulled up first, dumbass. Oh my god, I can't see anything! How the fuck am I supposed to go? Elections tomorrow. I can't go through another four years of Ugh, that orangutan. There's no way that Trump will be reelected, right? Like now that I just saw the full house house, I'm like, okay, well I should probably get on the road. Like I'd rather just stay here. What, what the fuck do I do now? I don't want to go home. The sun is starting to actually go down. It's 4:30. I might get some food and then hit the road. Why am I getting emotional? Like, I want to cry. This was so fun. Like, I feel like a little kid again, you know? Not only the full house thing, but like, just getting excited over a new city. God, I'm sad. I'm gonna get, <laughs> I was just about to say I'm gonna get sad. I'm gonna get food. Might cry a little bit. when the sun goes down, man. <sighs> I, just, I don't want to go back. I don't want to go on this drive. I was just, I was like screaming at the top of my lungs before I started recording. Like, screaming at the top of my lungs in my car that made me feel a little better i recommend doing that this is just a part of the healing process man I'm just try to feel it all i met that um golden gate bridge spot where people get out of their cars and take pictures and videos and shit. And I was just kind of sitting out there. I didn't record myself. Cause I just, I just wanted to self reflect a little bit. The sun went down and I don't know, it was hard looking around at everyone with their families and their friends and their significant other. I had a bunch of like scary thoughts crossed my mind but then I like pulled myself out I was like feeling overwhelmingly lonely but that's what I that's why I'm doing this so I can like train my brain that it's okay to be alone not all the time but like you know I'm just trying to get comfortable with myself and I was so uncomfortable just now and these two teenagers, it was a boy and a girl, they like, were, they set up their phone and then they would run and like take a picture, like a self timer thing. And I was like right next to them. And I was like, should I ask if <laughs> they want me to like take a picture for them? But then I was like, no, cause they're like laughing and shit. Another part of me is like, no Sarah, just like, it doesn't hurt to ask. Maybe they, 
they don't want to ask you because they feel weird because you're just this weirdo sitting by yourself. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just gonna grab life by the balls and like not let anxiety stop me. Do shit. So I asked. I said, hey, you need me to take a picture for you? And the guy was like, oh no, it's okay. We like, <laughs> I'm running back and forth. <laughs> and in my head, I was like, I knew it. But I was like, oh, cool. And then he asked, he asked. <laughs> This was semi over the edge. He asked if I wanted a picture of me. And I was like, no, it's okay. But that's sweet, thank you. I like lost it, bro. I was like, I was like, fuck, I'm like going to explode. And then I ran out of my car and I started sobbing because that was so nice. I don't know, just little things like that. I know that once I start driving and I like put on a podcast or something, I'll be fine. <sighs> okay, update. I feel better. <laughs> um, cried a lot. While I was recording myself crying, I was getting lots of texts from people. It was weird like all at the same time. Like my sister texted me and a few other friends texted me. That kind of snapped me back into reality. the longest five and a half hours of my life but I just listened to podcasts it was whatever you know but I'm so happy I'm home it is currently 12 56 in the morning and tomorrow's election day so we'll see what the fuck happens I'm gonna get all my shit get inside my apartment and then do like a final I guess analysis evaluation I feel like there's a shorter, simpler word for what I'm trying to say. Conclusion? I think I'm trying to say conclusion. My brain is mashed potatoes. What a fucking journey. My butt is so sore. I cannot wait to just lay down horizontally. Just lay with my whole body. Like I'm so sick of sitting on my butt. Um, that was a lot. If you guys are going through a similar situation, I encourage you guys to do this. If you guys have like a drive-in rave or... I know in LA they do a bunch of like drive-in raves. I challenge y'all to do it. It's so scary, but I know that it helped me a lot and just get comfortable in my own skin again. And if you guys have done it, share your experiences. I wanna hear what uncomfortable things you're doing to push yourselves. I feel like the more times that I do this, the more it'll get easier. I'm not saying I'm gonna only do this. Once in a while, why not? Who cares? No one. No one cares. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something or gained something from this. And have a great day, have a great week. I love you.